I'm speaking today with Angela Rooks Trotzik, and she is the executive director of the uh, Women's Shelter here. Uh, I would like to ask you, Angela, about a quiz that has uh, been posted online for the month of May uh, with regard to uh, intimate partner violence. Um, what can you tell me about the quiz? Well, the quiz was really initiated by um, a group just in including ACWS, which is the Alberta Council of Women's Shelters. So it was actually started as a way to gauge the level of understanding about intimate partner sexual violence. And through the answers to the quiz, we'll be able to, to kind of know where to streamline our efforts as far as the education and prevention of interpersonal sexual violence. Um, so that's really the, the main gist of the quiz. All right. So do you think there are a lot of women or men out there that may not be aware uh, what exactly that violence can look like? Oh, absolutely. I think people think of violence as physical violence, and there's much more um, ways that violence can be manifest. If there's emotional violence, there's spiritual violence, there's physical violence, there's financial violence. Um, it, there, there's so many ways that um, abuse and violence can be perpetrated on, on a survivor. Wow, I wasn't even aware of some of those. So um, I guess with the, this information, um, will it, you mentioned it will sort of help guide uh, certain things in the future. What can you see coming out of it? I think more... I think there's still a lot of work to be done around the education of interpersonal violence and interpersonal sexual violence and, and specifically what this survey is for. Um, there's still lots that needs to be known and understood um, by the people that work in this, this field, understand it, know it, and have become experts around the issue. Um, but I think it's one of those issues where if, if unless it happens to you or someone you know, you don't know about it. You may generally know there's a women's shelter in your community, but you don't necessarily truly understand the issue. So this, this quiz will enable us to um, really target our efforts towards educating the community around this issue. Okay. Um, and do you think that um, as the generations go, that that education needs to be reiterated for the younger people coming up who may not have, you know, grown up, grown up in a certain era where it was discussed and, you know, in the media. Um, is that another reason that it has to be uh, taught over again? I think so. I, I don't think the issue, I mean, our goal, of course, our ultimate goal is to eradicate interpersonal violence, no matter what shape or form it takes. Um, we know that's not going to happen in my lifetime. Um, the next, maybe, because the generations that are coming up, I notice that are are they're much more open and willing to to talk about what it is, what the issue is, and how it impacts people. My daughters, I've been working in this field for, you know, 20 years, and my daughter, who is turning 13, knew about the issue when she was like nine years old. Age appropriateness, of course, is important, but her friends already know what domestic violence and abuse is. So in one way, you don't want children to have to know about this heavy, this heavy, heavy kind of issue at hand. But the education is so important because it empowers people to make healthy decisions around their relationships. I think kids are a lot smarter than we give them credit for, and especially they have big ears, right? Um, yeah. I have to say my sons uh, probably educated me a lot about certain issues as well, intersectionality, that kind of thing, um, which I hadn't really done much uh, study of. So I think there's things mm -hmm. that they can teach us as well, and especially about boundaries. Mm -hmm, absolutely. That's one of the first things we start teaching our children is boundaries, right? Yeah. Hopefully, we're teaching our children about boundaries, uh, boundaries early on, for sure. All right. So if people want to take this quiz, where do they go? Um, I don't know the link off the top of my head, but if they go to acws.com, they'll be able to link to the site for sure. All right. Angela, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Well, I thank you for bringing light to the issue, for sure. Thank you.